Right, I'm just going to set this off. I've done about 12 of these videos and it's gone wrong every single time. I won't bore you with the details, but I'm just going to fire this up and I won't waffle. I'll just uh, film it and uh, hopefully this BGA will uh, will pop off. Uh, okay, so we're just going to start the profile. It's already uh, been used uh, a little while ago, so the uh, lower heat is still uh, quite high, but we're just going to fire it up anyway. This temperature is quite low, which is the important bit. So. Pattern 2, lead free, just going to fire it up. Bottom heat set value is 160 and uh, the process value at the moment is 155. It's just going to go up until it achieves 160. I've had to change that from the default value of uh, 120. It just wasn't enough on the larger boards, but it's perfectly acceptable on the, you know, on a very small board. Upper heat is on 85 degrees and it's in a soak period at the moment. Natural temperature on top is 96. Okay, we've now switched to step two, and the set value is ramping up. Got to say thank you to Stu at sjstv.co.uk for sending me a few scrap panels with some BGAs on to, uh, to have a play with. Thank you, Stu. We did have a... Uh, We'll fiddle with a board um, a couple of days ago. Just remove the BGA really easily. It's a plasma control board. Um, because it was my first go, I didn't bother filming it, and of course uh, that was the one that worked perfectly. And ever since then, we've had various issues, mostly with the uh, silver adhesive foil that I'd been sticking in place to hold the thermocouple down and the captain tape that I was trying to hold it down with just three quarters of the way through the process the adhesive would just uh, free up and you know the thermocouple would just be floating around in the air this time I've just wedged it in between uh, some parts of the board and just bent it down and it's being held by the BGA itself it's just on this far left side, you might be able to see it. Uh, it's on the left hand side at the front. Uh, so, uh, low heat 160. We're on a soak period at 140 on the upper heat. And then it will switch to step 3 and go up to 230. And then a soak period, and I should just be able to lift up the top heat and lift the BGA off. Again, I've changed it from the set uh, value of 220. All of these parameters you can uh, modify. Uh, you can completely, you know, completely set up a new profile if you uh, would like to. But I thought we'd stick with the default ones. But I have had to increase the lower temp and the uh, the upper one. So we're on step three now, ramping up top heat currently uh, what well, the thermocouple is 166 
There you go, so we're on the pattern two, ledge three. Step three, segment for temperature rising is lit. That's the set value, it's ramping up. That's the actual process value at the thermo uh, uh, thermocouple. Let's just get back onto that VGA. Set value to 10, process value to 1. Set value to 30, that will now kick into a dwell period. Process value is 229. Just going to bring it down a fraction, that's at the minimum height. Sorry, yeah, minimum height. And we're just going to let that soak. Probably couldn't see because my hand was in the way, but I just gave that a little gentle nudge, and uh, I'm just going to lift this up and lift that straight off. We dropped it on the carpet. That's not going to do the carpet any favours. <laughs> there, so that's the end of the profile. That will now cool down as you can see that came off uh, perfectly okay. I had been using this stupid uh, IU solder sucker and I've dropped the, the IC or the BGA a number of times on the carpet and that's another burn, another burn mark in the carpet so I don't suppose we'll be reusing that BGA. Uh, but uh, as you can see it came off uh, perfectly well. I don't think we're going to get that to focus now, unfortunately. So yeah, worked perfectly. Um, in this particular case, uh, the last IC I practiced on had a ground plane that was uh, causing a few issues. That's why I increased the temperature from 220 to 230. But I've got a sneaky feeling we could have left it at 220 for this particular BGA. Uh, so yes, I, I think that was... Uh, successful test actually caught on uh, on camera you can probably see some melting to that uh, bit of plastic at the back there uh, normally you would just shield these with the silver foil but I just didn't want that in the way uh, this time so uh, again scrap board not really bothered about it but you would certainly protect electrolytics and uh, plastic with uh, the foil Anyway, so yeah, this definitely works just fine. Um, I think we've eventually got a half decent video out of it. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Just wanted to show you that in, uh, in use.